Today, I want to revisit an older piece of Topaz software called Topaz Impression 2. This is a blast from the past. Let's go back and see how great this original piece of software was. And actually, it still is a great piece of software. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Yeah, today I just want to revisit an older piece of Topaz software. It's called Topaz Impression 2. Now, Topaz started out with Topaz Impression, and then they did a lot of updating to it and made it even better, and then it became Topaz Impression 2, and now Topaz Impression is inside of Topaz Studio 2. Now, pretty much everything you're going to find inside of Topaz Impression 2 is in Topaz Studio 2, but I really like the interface of Topaz Impression 2. I want to show that to you today and a lot of the really cool uh, presets and things that, are, that were in it. It was really conducive for creativity, and I really enjoyed that. So I just wanted to just take a blast from the past and go back and revisit some older software. Now, this software still works today. Now, I don't know if you have like a Mac M1 or something like that, if it'll work, but I'm using a Mac 2019 iMac model with an Intel processor, and it works just fine, by the way. So if you have Windows or if you're not using maybe an M1, you'll probably still be able to use it if you still own this software. But whatever I'm going to show you today really applies to uh, Topaz Studio 2 as well. It's got all the same sliders and things in it. Now, you can use Impression 2 as a standalone loan product or you could use it as a plugin for Photoshop. I'm using it as a plugin for Photoshop. Now I've duplicated the background layer, called it Topaz Impression 2. I'm going to come up to Filter and uh, Topaz Labs and let's launch Topaz Impression 2. As, and like I said, it's a really cool interface and I really like it, but it's very conducive for creativity. And I still use it, I'll be honest with you, because I actually like it better than Topaz Studio 2. Now I'm referring to the impression filter inside of Topaz Studio 2. It's pretty much the same filter, but the interface is just so much, I don't know, cleaner, I really like it. Now, here's one of the things I really like about this, and that's dealing with the presets. See this little arrow right here? If you click right here, you can see all these different effects, okay? And then you can also come here, and there's a drop-down menu here. Like, here's all effects, my effects. Like, you can save your own effects and so on. Favorites, featured, pencil, charcoal, and pastel. Different painting styles and so on. Or you could click this browse right here. And then it opens up a whole bunch of other stuff like, uh, for instance, you can see uh, presets that are on your computer or you could go to community and in community, this, are gonna, this will be like presets that people have made in the Topaz community. Now, what's nice about this, you can drag this and really fill up your screen with a bunch of really cool different like presets here. And you could go through here like this one here, like Kent's Watercolor 1. Let's click on that and see what kind of result we get. Okay, so it's right there. Now I could take this and drag this over like this, but isn't that cool? So you, this is what I mean about the interface. You can see a lot more here. And again, this is the community's preset. And there's just so many different presets to take a look at here. And I'm surprised that they're actually all right here waiting for us to try them out. So let me go ahead and drag this back over like this, just to a single set of presets over here. And let's go into, uh, right now I'm in painting. Impressionistic is one of my favorites here. And uh, let's click on this first one, Abstract Impressio. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Here's Saison 1. But you click on these and it works really quick. It's really fast. Back in the day, it was probably a little slower because computers were not as fast back then. Here's uh, one called Oil Sticks. So as you can see, you can get in here with these presets and find something that you like and get your creative juices going. Like this is called Pointillism 1, Pointillism 2. Uh, one of my favorites in here would be, well, of course, Van Gogh. Who doesn't like Van Gogh? Yeah, that's really, really a nice preset right there. One was called Edward Hopper that I really liked, and I think it was under painting. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, Degas, Degas Dancers, Edward Hopper, okay. Here's one right here, Edward Hopper 1. Check that out. Isn't that cool? Right out of the gate. So right out of the gate, you got something really nice. Now, once you 
pick a preset or you don't have to use a preset. Just like Topaz Studio 2, you can start from scratch, which a lot of times I like to do. But there's so many different presets in here, it's kind of nice to start with a preset. So I think I'll start with this preset. And as you can see here, you can favorite presets if you click these little hearts. Let's click right here and this will take us into the interface. Now here's what I mean by the interface, it's very clean, right? It has all the same adjustments that Topaz Studio 2 has, but um, instead of having them like from halfway, from this halfway point and down, it encompasses the entire whole right hand side of the page over here so of the interface which to me is kind of nice and it's very clean now this is topaz studio 2 and here is the impression filter in topaz studio 2 but you notice the interface is not as clean over here right the filter starts about halfway down on the right hand side and then you can you know slide through the different effects and so on and so forth as opposed to Impression 2. You see how nice and clean that is compared to Topaz Studio 2. I just really like it. And I wish that Topaz would go back and work on some of these older pieces of software and bring them up to date to the year 2022. You know, they have a gold mine here and I'm sure a lot of folks still want this. And if you still want this kind of software out there and if you want them to improve upon this type of software, please let me know in the comments section below. I'd really love to hear your thoughts. And if you want me to do some videos on some of the other great older pieces of software where like uh, Topaz Restyle, I'd be happy to do that. Just let me know in the comment section below. Well, there's my little rant. And again, I'd really love to hear from you in the comment section below. But let me go ahead and uh, work on this image a little bit here. Okay, so this is that Edward Hopper preset. And this is the brush it's using Type 10. Now we could come here and work with the strokes like... I kind of like that. That's uh, low strokes, medium strokes, and high strokes. I think I may go with, I think I may go with low strokes. I think that looks really nice. Now let's play with the uh, paint volume. I might just pull that back a little bit. Now there's a large brush volume here. Let's play with this. I'm just going to play with some of these sliders and see what kind of a look I get. I'm just having fun today. And by the way, like I said, if you don't have Impression 2, you can do this entire painting in Topaz Studio 2. Just take note of the uh, numbers on the sliders here. Okay, somewhere around there. Now, the stroke rotation will determine how those strokes are rotating. You see that, how they're rotating around, which is really cool. I don't usually play with it too much, but sometimes just the subtle little stroke rotation is good. And then there's a rotation variation, which will vary the way the strokes are rotating. And I might just put a little of that in there. Then you can add some color variation on the strokes. You see how it adds a little bit extra color in there if you want that. And you got to be careful on this because a little bit sometimes can go a long way. I'm going to leave that off for now because I'm not liking that so much. But then stroke width, how wide that stroke is. See how the strokes become more narrow. But I'm thinking maybe right around there looks pretty good. And then the length of the stroke. Can you see how like look at this one stroke right here. Watch how... When I do the stroke length, see if I move it to the right, it gets longer or it gets shorter. So whatever you like there. And I think right around there, right pretty much where it was, was good. And then the spill, if the paint is spilling out over the edges too much, you can drag this to the left and cause it not to spill out as much, you see, or spill out more if you want. So you got to be careful on that, but that's really cool. And the sponge is nice too. If you just want the image to blend in a little bit, the paint... You can move this smudge to the right. And if you move it too much, you see, it'll get really smudgy. And remember, all these sliders in Impression 2, you're going to find these same sliders in Topaz Studio 2. But again, for me, it's all about this interface. And then you have this coverage here of how much coverage it's getting covered on the canvas. So watch, I'll start to pull this to the left and you'll see. See how you can see this color around here? Now, just like when you watch my Topaz Studio 2, I always tell you to come down here to texture. And this is the actual canvas color of the background. You see this color right here? Now you can change this color by clicking right here. And you could change this to maybe like a, a blue color, okay? Or more of a red color, whatever you like. Uh, let's try more of a, like a cyan. Now I think I like, like like a little bit of the blue in there. And then you can lighten it up if you want to. So if you want that more dreamy look like that, you can go with something like that. Whoops, I didn't click OK. Let me go back there and get that color again. Haven't used this in a while. You got to click OK to accept that. Or you could click original and then that coverage won't really mean anything. OK, 
So let me go back to solid and, but this time I'm gonna take the coverage and just start to drag it to the right. And you'll see it starts to fill in more and more and more as I go over. Now it was defaulted, I think, the whole way over to the right. So I'm just gonna leave it over to the right because that looks good. And then we could come in here and play with the color a little bit. Uh, we can alter the colors. For instance, like, like the sand down in here, it's probably gonna be like this red and this orange. Let's go to the red here and maybe lighten up that sand a little bit. Oh yeah, like that, I like that. I am just wanna lighten it up a little bit. And then you could give it more saturation or you can give it less saturation, whatever mood that you want, but it's a lot of fun. And again, everything I'm doing here, you can do right inside of Topaz Studio 2 as well. And you can even change the uh, hue or the tint of that sand color if you want to, which is nice. But I think right around there looks pretty good. Let me go up into the blue and let me lighten up the blue a little bit and see what happens here. Not too much, but I think I'll just lighten it up just a little wee bit. And how about the saturation? I might just pull the saturation back a slight amount, somewhere right around in there. And then, we, of course, we have like the purples and the magentas. Let's try the purples. Let's lighten up the purples a little bit, a tiny wee bit, just like that. And how about the magenta? Let me see if I lighten up the magenta. Yeah, I think I, I like that. That magenta lightened up just a little tiny bit there. Let's see what a little extra saturation looks like. Well, that's way too much. Let me just kind of play with the slider a little bit. And right around there, I think that looks uh, pretty good. I'm just going to pull back in that magenta. And maybe I pulled the lightness up too much. I'm going to pull it back just a little wee bit. Maybe right there. Now, we could come here and click where it says original. There's the before and there's the after, which is nice. And then we have all these different ways that we can see the before and after. Like here, we have this slider that we could take this and pull it across which is really cool right so we have all the different ways of looking at it pretty much like a uh, topaz studio too we can do all the stuff in there as well and let's go back to just the original painting right here that's looking nice and of course we have lighting here we can work with our lighting like we can darken it up a little bit we can add a little more contrast to it and you know we can pour our highlights back or open our highlights up, whatever we need to do there, and shadows. I think it was pretty good where it was, maybe right around there. And then we can add a vignette if we want to. And then you can come down here. And again, all this stuff is right in Topaz Studio too, so you can work with the texture. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see the actual texture itself. Okay, see the texture in there. And of course, you have the texture strength. You could take this the whole way to the left and have no texture in there whatsoever or add a little bit of texture in there. I'm just going to let a little bit of texture in there because I just feel like doing it today. And then you can fit the screen by clicking this again. And then there's even masking in here. You can get in here and do some like different layer masking, stuff like that. I'm not going to mess with that, but I do that a lot in uh, Topaz Studio too because I'm adding other effects and filters. That's one of the cool things about Topaz Studio too, though. This is just, say, the impression filter, but in Topaz Studio too, you have all those other filters, and I use a lot of masking. So that's where Topaz Studio 2 really comes in handy. So here, I'm going to shut off the uh, masking. If I do any masking now, I would do it in Photoshop. But I think I'm happy with the overall results. So at this point in time, I would just click OK. And now we're back in Photoshop. Here is the before and here is the after. But that is Topaz Impression 2. Hey, if you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.